again to Senior Voice. Today we have uh, Ryan Deneen from our Transportation Department, uh, Rebecca Joyce, the Director of our Senior Center, and we're going to go over a lot of the opportunities that we have at our Senior Center and the um, activities outside. Uh, last month we went over um, many of the things that were going on in March, uh, today we're going to look at April and May, and uh, we might be mentioning some things you've already heard about, but uh, we'll add something to it. Uh, welcome, Hi, Rebecca Bernie. And, and Ryan. Um, uh, Rebecca, maybe we'll start with you since you're directing all of this. Sure. Um, what are some of the things that, uh, that we are going to do special uh, in, in the near future here? Well, of course, as always, we have a lot um, happening at the Senior Center. The month of April is um, a very busy month again. Um, we are planning for um, our Shining Star Senior Talent Show. Oh, that's, that's actually a... not in the month of April, uh, but I'd like to highlight that, that that's coming up in May. That should be fun. Yes. Now, I, I'm not much of an artist. What, who are you looking for? Well, just any seniors that have a talent that they'd like mm. to show off. Um, that's scheduled for May 27th in the afternoon right in the Senior Center. Um, we do have three people who've already signed up. Um, with various talents. It could be oh. anything from singing and dancing. Um, we have someone who's signed up who will be doing comedy. So oh, uh, oh, that's, I think that, that will, sounds neat. Yeah, yeah. it will be okay. a fun, mm -hmm. fun yeah. afternoon. And, um, and you'll be surrounded by friends, so it'll be okay. Yes, oh yeah. yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And it, uh, May being Older Americans Month, we'd yeah. like to showcase the talents yeah of uh, our senior population. It's always amazing, the people who s step out of the crowd when you oh, have yes. uh, an invitation like that. Yeah, so that will be a lot of fun. Well, I just wanted to mention that. get yourselves out of your chair and <laughs> let Rebecca know you want to come down and perform something. Yes, you All can right. get a um, registration form in yeah. one of the April newsletters, or you can come into the office and uh, sign up right right in our office. And, and is, it, is that application in here? Um, I'm not sure if no, it's in I the don't. copies that we have. Um, actually, I, I do have one here. So okay. um, this is the uh, form. And then the entry form is on the back, just some basic information um, that gets you signed up to perform in uh, what is, since I've been on board, the first ever senior talent show. <coughs> and mm -hmm. that's just so you can make up a roster of activities and, yes. and uh, be able to uh, uh, introduce people properly. Right, exactly. So do get yourself signed up. That should be fun. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to be there. Oh, good. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not performing. I, I'm, <laughs> I can't do that. If you oh, perform, yes, I'll we, perform, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> we need a lot good. of folks in the audience as well, so I'm hoping for Great. a large turnout with that. Great. <laughs> Um, also, on Wednesday, April 29th, um, we have a Know Your Rights program, Know Your Rights in a Long-Term oh, Care yeah. Setting. Um, the Long-Term Care Ombudsman uh, will be at the Senior Center um, talking about uh, residents' rights. And um, a delicious dessert will be provided by Riverside Healthcare in the Village at Buckland Court. So we hope we get a lot of folks um, signed up for that. Space you know, that is limited is, to 35, so sign up for that. That is, is very, care. very important. I heard this person last year and got a lot of information from, it was a lady. Mm -hmm. Is it a lady this time again? Um, there'll be a few different folks. Oh, okay. Um, but it, yes, yeah. And she, uh, she gave us a lot of very good information and a lot of it was printed, so I, I have it in my uh, file here. Mm -hmm. And um, I would encourage everybody to you know we are getting older and there are many things apply to us that you never dreamed of mm -hmm. so this is a great time to come down and explore some of those things mm -hmm. it's good to to know your rights and to learn more about mm -hmm. that and that's april 29th yeah april 29th from one o'clock to two to two o'clock and we'll be having an ice cream sundae bar as oh, well well <laughs> just a little treat <laughs> that part i would like <laughs> yes yes absolutely did you want to mention maybe the hike with ryan yeah, yeah. all right ryan you mm -hmm. had something very important for us um, yeah on uh, Wednesday, April 22nd at 10.30 a.m., I'll be hosting a hike to celebrate Earth Day at Northwest Park here in Windsor. 
And um, unfortunately, I haven't picked a trail yet. Um, mm -hmm. Just we have to figure out what will be the best trail to use. Got a lot of snow melting. It'll be a little wet out there. So uh, we will figure out what trail we want to walk on. But we'll get out there hopefully on a nice day and enjoy time with each other and enjoy Windsor's trails and celebrate Earth Day together. I live up near the park, and um, we get there quite often. Yeah. Now, we haven't yet, but uh, they have a lot of activities uh, mm -hmm. guiding people, too. Yep. So this should be fun. We'll go at our pace, mm -hmm. and you'll... Yeah, you know, you can walk a lot faster than I can. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we'll so, go at our own pace and just, yeah. you know, take in the day and enjoy a nice day together and just have a good time. That's about it. And, and participants are actually encouraged to bring a picnic lunch I, as well. So I was just hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we'll hope for a nice day and hang and outside and eat a lunch after and enjoy <laughs> each other's company. Will you have uh, uh, drinks or, or will they have to bring their own? Um, I mean, you're encouraged to bring water. I'll probably bring a little, some water for folks. Um, just so we can stay hydrated and that kind of thing. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, just encourage you to bring your own, your own refreshments, your own drink or lunch, and um, just go out there and have a good time. And again, what was the date for that? Wednesday, April 22nd at 10.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you will meet at the uh, shed at the main? Th yeah, we'll probably meet outside the Nature Center, outside yeah. the Nature okay. Center at Northwest Park and go from there. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yep. folks, there you get some exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, come on out. Mm -hmm. I'll have to dig out my hiking boots. <laughs> yes. And after promoting it, I'll have to be there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yeah, that sounds right. like a great idea. <laughs> Rebecca, I, know, I don't know if we mentioned last time about mm -hmm. our, uh, the nurse uh, practitioner, not practitioner, I'm sorry, the nurse who comes here and attends to our um, uh, seniors for yes. the, I'm, I'm jumping uh, ahead for you. No, nope, uh, But she comes, they come here for blood pressure clinic Mm -hmm. a foot clinic and hearing clinic. Yes, yep, yep. Um, actually, the visiting nurse is here now. Um, so she's here um, mm -hmm. the second Wednesday of the month uh, from 10.30 to noon. Mm -hmm. And she will um, do a blood pressure screening. Um, you can ask questions and of the nurse. She can make referrals. Um, just check your overall health and speak to you about any concerns you may have. Um, so that's the visiting nurse. And um, uh, also the, the foot, foot clinic. What do they do? They the foot clinic. They will um, clip and um, you know manicure your your toenails yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. uh, they're quite busy, so they're they're always booked up. So if you want to yeah. uh, make an appointment, that you should call into the office. Um, you know, be sure to call for that one. Mm -hmm. And now, would they if there's they notice something you know out of the ordinary, they would recommend that you see your proper Absol proper physician for that and Absolutely. things like that. Absolutely, okay. yes. And sure. the hearing clinic as mm -hmm. well. Yes, yeah, we have uh, actually uh, Mr. Resnick will be coming back mm -hmm. um, for our hearing clinic and he mm -hmm. will be here on April 20, is it the 28th? The 28th. So he'll be oh, here on good. April 28th. Yeah. And um, that's in our, bullet, our newsletter so be sure to look up that in our newsletter and um, you do have to make appointments, mm -hmm. so call call ahead and uh, and do be there if you need something like that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I'd also like to highlight um, we have a musician fest performance series happening at mm -hmm. the Windsor Senior Center um, in collaboration with the Music Performance Trust Fund and in partnership with the National Council on Aging. Uh, the Windsor Senior Center has been selected um, for four performances that are scheduled. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one will happen April 28th at our Early Bird Supper. We have a violinist, okay. Ann Stowe, who will be performing that evening. Um, on May 21st, to celebrate Older Americans Month, uh, we have a cellist coming in to perform um, during our lunch in the Senior Center. On June 18th, um, we have a guitarist coming in to perform for our Father's Day celebration. And then uh, finally on June 30th, um, we have a duo um, coming in to perform at our Early Bird Supper. So I think those will all be very awesome performances. Oh, okay. I hope folks will join us for that. Well, all things that I like very mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. I particularly like uh, violin. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, It'll be some nice yeah. different performances in the Senior Center. And um, 
Now, this will be in our newsletter coming up, and uh, do cut that out and make sure that you um, make an appointment for your lunch, and mm -hmm. as well as uh, let us know that you're going to be here <coughs> in those days. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was wondering if we fun. should mention, um, you know, uh, we have a program, Golden Fellowship, yes. and it is, uh, it is um, pre the president is one of our uh, Win Senior Voice members, um, Pauline Martin, and Pauline has a um, trip going to uh, the Mohegan Sun Casino on May 5th, mm -hmm. and the uh, Ticket to Ride Beatles um, tribute on June 9th. I'm reading this directly because I want the, the information uh, uh, correct. Uh, Ticket to Ride on June 9th will be at the Grand Oak Villa. Uh, call Pauline Martin uh, for information on that. Mm -hmm. And the AARP um, are having a, on, on May, um, the first Wednesday in May, a potluck lunch, and you're all invited to come to that. Um, bring a dish, of course, it's potluck, and bring a dish and enjoy the fellowship and the uh, conversation of your friends. And uh, also on, um, uh, what's the June um, date for, uh, when the first Wednesday in June, we have a trip to Chez Joseph. Mm -hmm. It's an installation luncheon, and it's very nice in the Tiffany room. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes from 11 o'clock to um, maybe 2.30 or 3. Mm -hmm. That's uh, luncheon, uh, roast beef, uh, chicken, fish, and and a veggie platter. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested in that, you call Barbara Zerotny at, uh, I think it's 688-8444, mm -hmm. and, um, or look at the May um, newsletter and you will find the information there. <coughs> uh, also, um, are there any other important things for you than your? Uh, well, um you know, we always have the art party the first and second Wednesday of the month. Oh, yes. And we have some exciting things coming up. Um, next month will be a painting with um, napkins and glues and a lot of different... Oh, yeah, I saw uh, that. Yes, that was really yeah, neat. The, it's called Social Butterfly. Actually, I have the flyer for that as well. Um, Social Butterflies, that's actually yeah. the... Um, the painting that they'll be doing. It's beautiful. And that was actually made with the napkins, napkins and, and, uh, and is that what they call decoupage of, or is that I believe so yeah. yes yeah I don't know <laughs> a whole lot about art myself but um that's a word uh, that comes out of my past yes Deb yeah. that instructs the class is wonderful um I just saw June's yeah. project and in June she'll be painting terracotta pots mm -hmm. um decorating your own uh flower pots uh, yeah and to me that just you know sounds really exciting a lot of fun mm -hmm. so join us for that uh, we always have our computer classes in the senior center um, the movie of the month is um, scheduled uh, once a month on a Tuesday so come and join us for that we have a nice crowd um, that comes in for that um, the trail riders just got started again so if you're interested in bicycling um, they just had their first meeting so if you'd like to have more information about the Trail Riders uh, program, call the Senior Center and we can certainly get you hooked up uh, with that. Um, and I think, you know, the last yep. thing I'd like to mention is um, we have an estate planning, estate planning seminar coming up on uh, April 14th, so that's coming up fairly quickly. Um, from 1015 until 1145, um, folks will be here to talk about your estate planning. So that's uh, another very important topic for that folks That is to very think important. Uh, mm -hmm. We just had a speaker come to our uh, AARP meeting, and he talked about that. Mm -hmm. And but in forty-five minutes, you can't learn everything that you should know. Right. And you should start early, mm -hmm. and um, and not wait until you're ready to move and empty your house and go to uh, a more restricted living. Mm -hmm. Uh, even if you're going just downsizing, mm -hmm. the uh, to uh, empty your house, it's a, it's a monumental job, and it, you should plan it. Yes. And that's what uh, our speaker uh, emphasized. Mm -hmm. That would be a great 
time to get started on something like that. Right, and I think just the more you learn and the more you yeah. know, the m more prepared you are, the better off. And you know it's going to be in your future. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's Absolutely. just the way of it. <laughs> I have a blue sheet of paper here for social services, their news for April, but I think we would reserve that for a time with social services mm -hmm. because that's an a adjunct to the senior center, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a it's this town program mm -hmm. <coughs> all by itself. Yes, we're all and underneath human services. Um, we work together. And um, social services does a great job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, thing that I like to emphasize, yes. <laughs> well, oh, I like yes. to eat. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. the thing I like to emphasize is our senior center cafe. You know, there's no reason to sit at home and eat a tuna sandwich. <laughs> When you can come to our senior center and have a hot meal at noontime mm -hmm. and eat with, with folks and meet some of your friends and make a friend. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, it's so much more nutritious and healthy mm -hmm. for you to get out and come and be with <coughs> people. Mm -hmm. So do consider we have uh, just a simple matter of calling the senior, the senior center, calling the food department, it's uh, all in your, uh, your book. I, it's 285-18643. Mm -hmm. And just let them know that you want to come here the next day. And uh, you, um, you would be surprised at how good the meals are. Mm -hmm. And they, they're really much better than sitting at home eating by yourself. Right, the company and the socialization mm -hmm. and all of that is so beneficial. And, and so even if, uh, you know, you and your wife are there, now you've been sitting looking at each other for 50 years, wouldn't it be <laughs> nice to come and, and share that uh, camaraderie mm. with, uh, with some other people? Absolutely. So I like to emphasize that. Mm -hmm. I won't go over the menu, but if you pick up a senior newsletter, which are uh, distributed throughout the town in, this, in the um, stores and uh, any place you go, the doctor's offices mm -hmm. and so forth will have, and the library particularly, they all have this letter, this newsletter. Mm -hmm. And it's eight or ten pages, so there's a lot going on. A lot, yeah. mm -hmm. And I think I've run out of uh, topics to Yeah, uh, to the cover. one thing that I was thinking when you were mentioning the um, senior lunch program is um, if you require transportation, Ryan mm -hmm. um, does a wonderful job of coordinating the transportation. Yeah. Uh, for those who no longer drive or just choose not to, you can mm -hmm. uh, contact Ryan if yeah. you want to provide a little more information. Yeah, absolutely. If you're worried about coming to the Senior Center for any reason or anywhere in town for any reason, uh, the Windsor Senior Transportation Department or Dial-A-Ride program would be more than happy to help you out um, in getting you to the essential destinations that you would need to go. Oh, great. Yep. Oh, I was talking to you about uh, the trail riders. The mm -hmm. bike riders mm -hmm. are starting up again, mm -hmm. but you haven't become part of that yet. Not yet. Man, okay. Two word yet. All right. Two word <laughs> yet. <laughs> um, that's starting. They've had their meeting, the organizational meeting, and I have a note here on one of these pages, and I don't know if I can find it, but um, they're meeting on Tuesday, the, uh, every, uh, twice a week, the second and fourth Tuesday, at 10 o'clock, you come here to the Senior Center, they decide then on where they're gonna go, and, um, and then you, uh, uh, this first trip is going to be, uh, they'll go down and assemble at uh, the boat landing on Baker Street, and um, they go then across the Bissell Bridge and go north on Main Street. It's about a four-mile four ride, and um, it's a way, good way to get started the mm -hmm. first time uh, <coughs> getting your bike out. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do that, um, and I don't have the phone number here, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, call you the Senior Center and they will give you the information. Yes. And that number is 285-1992. Yes, and the nice part about the trail riders too is they have lunch. <coughs> Oh, that's halfway through, oh, yes. they'll stop and have I, lunch, right? How and could then I forget they food? They finish their trip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, and um, uh, absolutely. After they finish their their ride, and they go up to uh, during the summer, the, uh, you will go up to uh, Massachusetts and to through Avon and down to New Britain mm -hmm. on the trails. Mm -hmm. And the trails are all level. You don't. You won't be doing any. 
rough riding. It's mm -hmm. uh, it, and there are about fourteen people at the moment, so mm -hmm. you would have a, a very nice group of people to be mm -hmm. to be with. Absolutely. Well, I thank you uh, very much, thank Rebecca you, Bernie. and Bernie. Ryan. Thank, yeah. thank you very you, much for being with us for Absolutely. the information from our senior center. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and folks, be sure to pick up a newsletter and mm -hmm. join us for all these activities. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see you here. Absolutely. Thank you, Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs>